Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today's system is from the user, an unknown user in Discord and this is called the Cryon System V2. So without further ado, let's get straight into this system. So it's on the workshop, it should be, yep, all ready to rock and roll. So let's see what we have got here. Okay, right. You're looking, ooh, okay. Right, Cryon System. It, Kryon is a relatively normal star, calm and collective in its own region and its galaxy. Extra info, Kryon is set in the Andromeda Galaxy. It has seven planets, one brown dwarf. Here they are in order. Okay, so Kryon itself, though, a star. Yeah, pretty, uh, a little bigger than the sun and all of its stats, more luminous as well. But onto the first of the planets. So we have Moninu. Moninu? Uh, it is very close to the star as it has had an encounter with the brown dwarf Sentinel currently into its currently stable and undisturbed orbit. The third hottest object in the system. It's a lot closer than all the other ones though, but whew. So there it is. Looking good. Next up we have uh, Ornus over here. So there it is, okay. So, the second planet from Kryon, it is the most massive and second largest planet in the system. It is quite isolated as there's a big gap between it and the other close planets. Yeah, as we can see, there's a really big jump there. Okay, next up we have got this one. Uh, Lupt Luptus. The third planet from Kryon orbits in only 85% further than where Earth orbits from the Sun. It is still a burning hot 232 degrees. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty crazy there. But obviously this star's a lot more luminous, so... It's been uh, pretty burned up, so there it is. Okay. Next up, we've got Aid Manus Manmaske A Manuskbi, the fourth planet out. Uh, sorry, so um, it's a fairly small gas giant comparable to Neptune in both mass and radius. 2.05 AU out, and it's 197 degrees. Got a weird uh, line there. That's pretty bizarre, but there it is. Okay. Next up, we've got Oratus. So this is where we started the simulation. A brown dwarf um, had an encounter, or the star had an encounter with. It is 76 Jupiters in mass um, and has seven moons. Okay. Really cool. And obviously, a lot of moons going on here. So we can see it. these all have descriptions as well. So these are all customized. So we have a Suswai. It is a slightly smaller than Earth of the same mass. It's a home of a uh, home of the. Not a joke, <laughs> civilization. They are to be evolved to thrive in all types of temperature, be it uh, very hot or freezing cold, as they probably survive it. Although it is uh, instantly set on fire if the temp is more than 300 Celsius. Whew, there you go. But I mean, that's dangerous to close to the brown dwarf as well. Uh, next up, we got. Um, where are we? Uh, the other moons are Igrit. Okay, so there's all their names. I'm not going to bother trying to say those because. I will completely scrap every single one of the pronunciations there, but there they all are there. So you can see there's another Earth flight one. I have them all up in the uh, menu at the top like we normally do. So it's, uh, it's a good few of them all, but yeah, all pretty, uh, all pretty earthy looking. All have got uh, water uh, by the looks of it. So very, uh, very nice area to sit if you need some water. There we go. Right next up, we're taking a jump to uh, Ansu over here, similar to Earth in math and radius. It is the fourth planet. At 10.5 AU, it's a frigid minus 61 Celsius. Still hatchable to the uh, Sasu who immediately start freezing it at 100 minus 150. Okay, so there it is. Cool. Right, next up, we have got uh, this one over here. Uh, El Kami. Uh, it's similar to Earth, surprisingly warmer despite being further out throughout its orbit. Okay. Right, and then lastly, we've got uh, our Colonilla. The last planet from Kryon, it is freezing cold, minus 115, the most isolated 18 AU from its nearest neighbour. So there it is. Okay, cool. And there you go. So that is the last of the objects in this system. And that does it for the system, which is quite a quick one, actually. But yeah, there we go, guys. So that does it for um, the Kryon system V2. So that was from the user, an unknown user. So a massive thank you to him for sending in his simulation. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. I'm definitely going to film another episode uh, this week because, yeah, these are, this one was very fast. So, yeah, stay tuned for that as well. But, yeah, if that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.